Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Uh, I am Mr. Shypon. Last time we realized that our family was still missing, so we went in search for them. Uh, all the townspeople are here. Found a bit of red cloth on a tree. Uh, there's a bit of a story to this actually. I had actually just finished recording this episode up to a certain point. But, uh... For some reason, none of the audio was recorded from either the game or my commentary. And I had not made a proper save state, so I ended up having to play through the entire game again up until this point. But, that's okay. I'm determined to continue this as long as it will take. Anyways, getting back into the game. Wes says, I'll need to borrow Milo for a bit. Alright, that's fine. He seems like a pretty reliable dog. Milo, bring my son back here. My son's name is... Alright, we get to name another character. This guy's great. Uh, if you've never played um, Mother 3 before, his actual name is Duster. But, that is not how I am playing. I already know who I'm going to name him, because I named him this before. This will save me some editing, because it, I had to think about what to name him before, but I will name him Brad. Kokuska. Moving on. His name is Brad. Got that? Here, have a sniff of the sock. Yeah, that's ripe. D don't forget this smell now. Sniff it, Milo. Ah, that's ripe, all right. Sure is. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time on his feet. I've tied a yellow ribbon to your collar. Show him the ribbon, he'll know exactly what's going on. Now fetch! I'm going to be totally silent here. Please enjoy this music as much as I do. That was one of my favorite scenes in this entire game. Brad, at long last, it's time you put the thief skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now, show us your wolf staple technique, right here, right now. I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. This is pretty cool. I'm actually quite fond of this. This could be real useful in real life. This area looks scalable. Look at his misshaped buttocks climbing that cliff. And he's done. Oh yeah. Look at that ladder. Good job, Brad. Alright, that should do it. Rob, be careful coming up. Miles has got a nice yellow collar on him, too. Thank you. Nod my hat to you. And he can climb ladders. <laughs> Looks like the rain stopped. I have a slight leg handicap, but I'll do my best. Oh, man, I feel terrible making fun of his buttocks now. Please take me with you. Brad joined your party! Hell yeah! Love this character. It's, red, it's the same color as Kelly's dress. 
That's so disappointing. And, going into this strange cave, we have a new enemy. That was a strange way to encounter it, but we encountered a mischievous mole. Oh, awesome. So we got one of these situations because Brad was trained as a ninja. He has his abilities upon entering a battle where he can do something like attack with blinding speed. So he'll do one regular hit. Uh, there's a couple other things he'll do. Like, uh, if you get back attacked. Uh, this actually happened in my failed recording. He got back attacked and... I got back attacked and Rob or Brad turned it around so we back attacked them instead and it was it, it's really helpful but it's not guaranteed of course it just happens oh man sorry Brad's combo uh, sound that he makes is usually a bass rift well it is a bass rift and it's so cool, I love every one of them. Not bread, hooray. Let's get this present. Beef jerky. I kinda skipped through that fast. Beef jerky is a better healing item. Um, healing items, as it goes in this game, the greasier or more disgusting they are, the better they heal you. Da -da 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 -da. I'll leave that battle in. Because I decided to talk about greasy foods. Got the present! Oh, yeah. Alright. Rob is level 12. Awesome. Levels are getting up there. I forgot to mention, uh, because I actually had to replay through the game, some things may be a little inconsistent. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, levels generally go the same way, no matter what. Uh, yeah, I'll use another one. Who else needs health? Alright, all topped up. Let's save. I didn't save nearly as often on my replay through, but let's try not to talk about failures. What's going on up here? What are those? Are they human? I don't know. They're certainly not duck people, though. What are they doing? They oink. This is strange. They're panicking. What do they do? Don't push buttons. No, 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 no. Pushing buttons is bad. Well. It didn't work. Oh. Well, it worked. Um. What? Ah! Uh, a reconstructed caribou suddenly attacked. Welcome to one of the hardest fights of this chapter. Um. I'm going to be handling this a little bit differently, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of uh, Rob's strength up on himself, and I'm going to use a thief tool as Brad to uh, give us a hand here. Right now all you got is the wall staple. In battle, that'll immobilize an enemy for a said number of turns. And Milo, you can just attack regularly. I'll see if I can get a combo going here. Ah, uh, buggered up. Oh well. I expected that. Pin down. Can't even move. So he moves. He loses. I'll strengthen up again. He loses the ability to fight or even do anything. It didn't work. Oh. Uh, let's try power smash. See if I can tank through this. Boom! Look at that damage. That's why that attack is fantastic, it's just not reliable. I'm not getting any... things. Oh, oh, oh! That was not bad. Eh. I'm getting it. Well, Rob, you did it. 
I think it's supposed to be like a guitar. Robin Company gained 112 experience points. Level 9 is Brad. And that's that. Poof. That's right, run away. Lying on the ground is a notebook with pig nose like mark on the cover. Give it a read? Yeah, why not? I like reading. Falling is written in poor handwriting. All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. Tougher. Rougher. Badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create a whole new things that no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. That's sick. If it's anything like that caribou, that's terrifying. I don't want to see what else they've done. No, wait, come... Uh, they're flying. You can't really keep up with that. I hear you, Milo. Oh, well. Cliff here is crumbled. Doesn't look like there's any way to get across. Guess we'll go back. No other choice. I'm gonna save. Yep, yep. Save, save. Much save. Back down the ladder. We'll see what's going on. Wes, where is everyone? Glad the thief's art's proved. I'm glad the thief art's proved useful, but our problem still hasn't been solved. Yeah, I hear ya. Let's keep going. Rob! It's like the theme of this game. People yelling out your first name. We found the kids! Oh, thank god. It seems they fell into the river and washed up here. I'll look after Milo. You just hurry and see him. Sorry about that cut there. Uh, I got interrupted by... A phone. Alright, Milo, it'll be fine. Well, that's good. They found the kids. That's a load off my mind. But, we're gonna go ahead and see them in the next episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it greatly. Give it a like if you liked what you watched. And, uh, hey, subscribe. You know, you don't have to, but, you know, it's kind of nice if you do. I like it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.